Good morning, everybody. I'm actually just about to take my vitamins for the day and Ritual was so kind to sponsor today's video, which I'm so excited about because I have been taking these vitamins for probably around two years now. And y'all would know that if you watch my main channel as well, because I've talked about them before. And I'm just so grateful that they are sponsoring the vlog channel today. This is Essential for Women 18 Plus. This is the multivitamin that I take every single day, two of these capsules, and I'm gonna tell you a little bit about why I like it so much. First of all, y'all know I'm a big proponent of eating well. I really try to prioritize a nutritious diet, but some nutrients are just more difficult to get from diet alone. So I love that Ritual offers a clinical backed multivitamin that really prioritizes high quality ingredients and things that are commonly, like nutrients that are commonly missing in people's diets. They are of course vegan, non-GMO verified, gluten-free, major allergen free, and free of any extras or artificial colorants. I love that this one simple product offers key nutrients for brain and bone health, blood building, and offers antioxidant support. Something that is really important for me for taking any vitamin or supplement is that it's high quality and third party tested. And Ritual really goes above and beyond for this. They seek very rigorous certifications and they test all batches for allergens, microbes, and heavy metals. I also love that these have a delayed capsule design. They're designed to dissolve later in the small intestine, so it's an ideal place to absorb nutrients. And they're also more gentle on the stomach, so you can take them with or without food. I also love the convenience of this just coming straight to my door. As you can see, I'm running low on mine right now, so I have another bottle on the way. I've been so happy with Ritual. I highly recommend them. If you would like to try them out for yourself, you can actually get 20% off of your first month. Just scan the QR code here on the screen or go to ritual.com slash cozyplantlady20. I will also have that linked down below in the description box, of course. Thank you so much to Ritual for sponsoring today's video. Welcome back to another weekly vlog. I hope that y'all are doing well. I am trying to do well myself. <laughs> I will admit that um, getting sick just really 
put me off track a little bit, you know, as it does. I'm sure we can all relate to that. Um, and I just, I just kind of hate that. <laughs> so I, yesterday I just really, I don't know. I was, I kind of wallowed, but today I'm like, okay, we are actually just gonna get our crap together here and you know, carry on. So that's what I'm trying to do, even though I still literally, like I keep thinking every day, I'm like, okay, like I, this sickness is like almost completely gone. And then I wake up today and I can still freaking feel it. I'm like, what the heck? So I'm kind of just like frustrated that I still don't feel 100% and that, yeah, just like overwhelmed with catching up on everything and just, you know how it goes. We've all, you know, been sick before and it sucks. <laughs> it sucks just like feeling sick, but then it also sucks just like falling behind on life and having to catch up on everything after. So that's just kind of the mode that I'm in today. As y'all saw, I spent some time this morning just doing some cleaning that needed to be done. The house still needs to be like deep cleaned. Like the floors definitely need to be like mopped and you know, but best I could do was a good vacuum and um, like clean up the surfaces, deal with some laundry and stuff like that. And even just spending some time doing those small things really made me feel better. Like it just, I function so much better when my house is just put together and not a freaking dump. So yeah, did that this morning, which is really good. And the other like major life thing that I need to get on top of is the food situation. I think that I might go grocery shopping tonight even though I really don't feel like doing that. Like I, my motivation for doing things is at an all time low, but the only way honestly to get that motivation up again is to get back on top of things and ahead on things again. So I'm just going to force myself to do things until I start getting that dopamine and start feeling better again. So that's kind of my plan. Um, definitely not like feeling the best vibes right now but that's just life and you know it goes on it's fine I'm gonna get back on track um so yeah spent some time just kind of getting on top of things this morning did my hour of plant watering as well and um now I'm going to be working until um yeah for for like the rest of the morning and afternoon and then um and then I think I'm gonna do the groceries so that's kind of my plan for the day um might do some laundry as well it's just yeah we're just in catch up vibes i'm gonna do some emails now and then after that i need to film a video and it's my q a repot video which of course i have this video where i'm like gonna be talking the longest like that is like my video that i really want to get done before the end of January. Um, and I wish that I had done it like a couple weeks ago before I got sick because now I, I just don't know how I'm gonna do with talking for like hours on end. Um, but I'm gonna give it a go. I'm gonna try to film it and hopefully it goes well. I just, I really, really wanna do it. So I'm gonna try. Hopefully this vlog, I will start feeling better and be in a better mood as it goes on. We'll put the work in in the beginning to set ourselves up for like a nice little week, even though it's literally Wednesday. What can you do? Um, and then hopefully I'll be able to enjoy <laughs> once I put the work in, so. I think I'm also just kind of feeling the winter blues because it's been raining so much for like, two weeks now honestly like it's pouring rain today it's just dark and gloomy and misty out and it's nice i love those vibes but those vibes for like weeks on end this is the time of year that i find it hard to deal with the lack of sun um like up you know like october november december it's like okay and it's like the holidays and stuff but once it's January, February, especially February, oh my gosh, that's my least favorite month out of the year. But yeah, I think I'm definitely feeling just the impact of the weather as well. So yeah, wow, this is not the most positive start to the vlog. I'm so sorry, but hopefully, you know, throughout the vlog, I will just continue to feel better and better and get more on top of my stuff and just feel good. So yeah. Let's manifest that.
I did it y'all. I made it to the grocery store. There she be. I'm going in, we're getting her done. Oh my gosh, you guys, the dishwasher and the washing machine are both running, so I'm so sorry. I feel like I'm always, there's always just like something going on here that's making noise. Anyways, it's been a couple of days since I've popped on here. It is now Friday afternoon and I am just sitting down to get ready, so I thought I would just kind of chat with you. I have my little makeup bag right here. Um, I've just spent the whole morning editing. I finished editing last week's vlog, so feeling really good about that because it's Friday and it's not going up until Sunday, so I can release it on Patreon for early access. And yeah, I just, I feel organized when I have it done a couple days ahead of time, you know? Um, so yeah, that's why I'm still in my pajamas because I've just been on my laptop all morning and um, doing some like house cleaning and stuff like that but my boyfriend's on his way home. We're gonna take the dogs for a WALK and then my friend Hillary and her partner are coming over for a games night tonight. So really excited for that. Um, but yeah, I'm just trying to get myself together a little bit. I just washed my face and did my skincare and everything. My skin's actually been really good recently. Um, like, I feel like my skincare routine is just like dialed in right now, so. I'm really happy about that. Um, but yeah, what else is new? I feel like nothing really has been going on this week. I've just been, you know, trying to take it easy because I've been recovering from being unwell and um, catching up on work and stuff. So there really hasn't been much. Um, I did some food prep last night, kind of trying to get on top of that. I think that Hillary is picking up dinner on her way here tonight, so I don't have to cook, but I do have a little bit more food prep to do. You do the food prep in two parts. There's component prep, which is like, um, I don't know, cooking lentils, making sauces and dressings. Um, I like roasted sweet potatoes last night for it, just stuff like that. And then there's also vegetable, like the vegetable prep. So it's split into like two different, things so I did the component prep last night and I need to do the vegetable prep it doesn't look like there's a lot to do though I don't think it'll take me long so I'm either gonna do that later today but I'm um, it's getting tight now it's like 2 30 right now um I don't know I'll do the vegetable prep at some point but then once that's done then I'm ready to rock and start cooking meals again which is gonna feel grand because I haven't been cooking, obviously, because of being sick and everything, so oh, I'm just excited to be back on top of it. And it feels so good to have the house all clean right now. I'm gonna put fresh bedding on um, pretty soon here, and yeah, everything just feels like it's getting back in order, which feels great because oh, I just do not thrive when my routine gets broken. Like I. I just do not and it, it can be anything like um, if I like travel or like just anything that breaks my routine I do I do not do well with it like I really just thrive in routine yeah I'm getting back on top of things now thank god I think I'm about two-thirds of the way through the wishing game 
and I'm loving that book so much. It's super just like, it's just like cozy and enjoyable to read. Like it's just enjoyable. I think it's sitting at about a four star for me right now. It might go up to 4.5 depending on the ending. Sorry, my eyes itchy. Um, so we'll see, but yeah, I'm really liking it. And I've been thinking about what books I wanna read after because winter is coming to an end. Well, at least here, like spring starts in like February here on Vancouver Island. So I really want to like prioritize the books I really wanted to read during the winter time, which off the top of my head, Bear Town by Frederick Bachman, that might actually be my next read because I just really wanted to read that this winter. And then, yeah, I don't know, that one for sure, but I'll have to kind of go through my books and pick out some that I really want to prioritize for the next few weeks. Anyways, yeah, I don't think I really have too much to update on. Just that I am doing well, getting my crap together once again. And, um, yeah, that's about it. I actually felt pretty low yesterday and then I realized Sometimes I'm just like in a bad mood and then, and then it like hits me why I'm in a bad mood and I'm like, oh, that's like obviously bothering me. Um, but my video that I posted, I was really happy with how it came out and I thought that it was gonna do really well, but it, it just performed like shite. And I'm just, I was so surprised. Like I really thought it was a plant chores and I loved the vibes, I loved everything I did. I just, I don't know, I was just really happy with the video and I still am, like it sucks when numbers tend to like influence how you feel about something that you create but no I really love it and I was just I was just so surprised it's so weird because like yeah I don't know usually I have a good sense of what's gonna do well I've said this before but it just like totally flopped and I literally have no idea why so yeah and then the rest of the day I was just like grumpy and then it hit me in the evening I was like oh my god that's why I'm in a bad mood because it's bothering me that my video is performing like shite. <laughs> it's fine. That's just honestly part of doing YouTube. Like sometimes things flop, sometimes things do really well. Like that's just, it's just like this. Like it truly is, which is what I try to remind myself because I've gone through this so many times where I'm like, it's like when something doesn't do well, it just like ignites this panic in me of feeling like, oh my God, my channel is gonna tank. Like like it's happening, <laughs> you know? Like nobody's gonna wanna watch my videos anymore. Um, like I just get like this panic every time something doesn't perform well, but I have to remind myself, like I've like been through this a million times by now. Sometimes they, sometimes there's just like an ebb and it's, that's just the way it is. I'm gonna go um, finish getting ready here. And then, I don't know, I'll talk to y'all later or I'll insert some clips of us playing board games or, or something.
Good morning, happy Saturday. This is gonna be just a quick little check-in because I have to leave because I'm going to yoga this morning with my mom, which should be very interesting because I have not done yoga in like a year. And to be honest with you, I really don't feel like going, but I think I'm gonna feel good once I go and perhaps this will kick my butt back into gear when it comes to doing yoga because I really love when I'm doing yoga and I think that is really good for me <laughs> but I just like fell so hard off the yoga train so yeah so it's probably a good thing that my mom suggested it and signed us up for a yoga class this morning so um yeah that should be fun but I wanted to pop on here quick before I leave um, and let y'all know, last night our game night got canceled. Um, our friends weren't able to make it here. So that kind of opened up the evening just to relax because you know when plans get canceled and you've like gotten everything done because you thought you were gonna be doing something, but, then, but now you're not doing anything anymore, but everything's already done. So it's just like, you have a nice little free slot. Um, so that's kind of what yesterday evening was. So I just relaxed, played some Hogwarts Legacy, and I actually finished my book. I also wanted to work on the paint by numbers last night, but I just didn't get to it. I was feeling so tired and I was like, oh my gosh, why? Like I finally have some like free time and I was just exhausted. Um, so all I did was literally sit on the couch, um, but I do need to work on that paint by number more because I literally am still only done that tiny little, little square. Um, but anyways, I finished the wishing game and I thought that it was so good. I was crying at the end. It was, it's just a really sweet book. And um, I was looking at the Goodreads reviews after because I try not to read the Goodreads reviews first. So it's like a little reward when I finish a book, I get to like scroll through the reviews and see what other people think. And this book is really highly reviewed. Like it has like a four point, has like a four point something on Goodreads, which is really good. Um, but a lot of people were saying that this is like a retelling of Willy Wonka. And I didn't even think of that because I honestly, I don't even know if I've seen Willy Wonka before, but it's like with the like golden ticket, like it's a competition, right? That's how that goes. Um, this is like the same kind of thing, um, which I was trying to tell y'all, I was trying to explain this book in the, um, in the last vlog. So I guess that would have been like a simplified way to like tell you the vibe of this book, but I just didn't make that connection because I don't really know Willy Wonka. But yeah, it's kind of that vibe. There's like, you know, a competition. Um, and yeah, it was just like a really sweet, heartwarming book. I think I'm gonna give this, I don't know. I think it, I'm gonna give it a four star. I saw some people really did not like this book and had a lot of criticisms. Like people were saying it's like wildly inappropriate that the character in this is a 26 year old broke woman who's a teacher's aide and wants to adopt like a child in her school. Like that's like so inappropriate and so weird and like blah, blah, blah. But I think sometimes we just need to reel ourselves back in and remember that this is a book. This is a storybook. This is not real life. Like this is literally just a novel. <laughs> So sometimes like when I read reviews, I'm like, oh my God, like why are people taking this like so, so seriously? Um, anyways, I really liked it. Like, yes, there are definitely things that crossed my mind that I was like, mm, this is like, this like could be weird, but I'm not going to make it weird. I'm just going to enjoy the book, you know? So yeah, I really liked it. Had a great time reading this. Um, I think I read this in like five or six days and I just, yeah, I, I loved it. It was just like the perfect, like cozy escapist, not fantasy, but just like had that magical, whimsical feeling. So yeah, I really, really enjoyed my time with that one. And then I even started my next book last night. I'm like literally not far at all into it. I am on page nine, um, but I started Bear Town by Frederick Bachman and I have been wanting to read this for quite some time. I wanted to read it last winter and I didn't get around to it. So I was like, you know what? I have to read this this winter. Um, I've heard so many amazing things about this book and I've only read, have I only read one other book by him? I guess so. I've read A Man Called Ufa and um, I loved it so much. It was such a charming story. I love his writing style, um, just like hilarious. And I've heard that a lot of his other books are just as amazing. So yeah, I can't wait to read this. This is about a small hockey town in Sweden. And the town seems like it's kind of like, I don't know, 
kind of one of those towns that's like everyone's like moving away it's kind of falling apart the economy is kind of shite but the big thing there is hockey and everybody kind of hinges their hopes and dreams on this like junior hockey team that's there that's like the big thing like everybody's just like rooting for this hockey team very into that they're hoping that that's gonna like somehow like turn the town around but then something happens to a girl and I think that it is because of somebody on this hockey team. It's supposed to be a really emotional read and oh, I just, I'm so excited to read this. I know I'm gonna love it. Like literally I'm only nine pages in and I'm just like, yes, like I know I'm gonna love it. So I'm so excited to just get a little bit deeper into this. His writing is just so like it's incredible and obviously the translator has done a phenomenal job because literally the first page and i was like yes like i just i eat this writing style up so yeah i'm so excited to be reading this finally anyways little reading update and um yeah just a little update of what i'm doing for my day going to yoga this morning and then after that i think i'm gonna go for lunch with my mom and we're just gonna kind of hang out for the afternoon so that should be fun because we haven't done that in a little while here um but i literally have to get going i have to go find my yoga mat it's downstairs somewhere so wish me luck because i think it's probably like buried in a bunch of mess down there but uh, gotta go get her
Okay, hello everybody. It has been a few days since I've last spoken to you, I think. I know I, I took some clips and probably inserted them um, from Saturday, but I don't think I've actually sat down and kind of updated you and said hello. So I figured that I would do that right now. It is currently Tuesday and I am procrastinating working, basically. I don't know. I'm just, I'm just like not really feeling, not really feeling today. It's freaking cloudy and gloomy again. And the forecast said that there was going to be some sun today, but there isn't. And I think I'm just like, ugh, I don't know. I'm really disappointed by that, honestly. But oh well, hopefully there will be sun later this week. It says that there is going to be. But anyways, um, yeah, so Saturday was a super lovely day. Spent it with my mom. We went to yoga, which was great. It was a gentle yoga, bless, because like I said, I'm out of practice. So I was nervous it was going to be like intense, even though you can always modify and just, you know, go at your own pace, of course. But yeah, I was glad to find out that it was gentle yoga. It was actually aromatherapy yoga. So we had these little like smelly stick things and I thought that that was a really fun little touch. So yeah, that was a great way to start the day. And then we went for brunch and then my mom was like, is there anywhere that you wanna go? We were a couple towns over. And I was like, you know, I like the bookstore here. So <laughs> why don't we go there? And we did. And um, we were looking around there, having a great time. And I was like, I don't think I'm gonna get any books. Like I'm I'm just looking, like it's fine. Actually, I was looking for Severance by Ling Ma, um, but I thought that they didn't have it. So I was like, I'm just not gonna get anything. Like that's fine, that's cool. Cause I'm really trying to slow down on buying books. But tell me why I left that bookstore with four books. Like I really need to reel it in folks because <laughs> oh my gosh, I just like can't help myself. Oh, anyways, I will show you the books that I got, but one of them was a gift. One of them my mom bought for me, which was very sweet. So yeah, I'll show you them. But um, after the bookstore, we went to the health food store because there's like a really good big health food store there. And we both love that. Just like, you know, shopping around in there. So y'all saw my little haul from there. Um, the lavender tea that I got, black lavender tea. Um, is absolutely divine. I have been like inhaling this stuff the past couple of days. I love it because normally when you find lavender tea, it's like an herbal tea and you don't really, you just kind of drink it plain, which is great. Like I love, I love any type of lavender tea, to be honest with you. But since this is a black tea, you can put a little bit of coconut sugar, a little bit of oat milk, and it is just so like luxurious honestly so it's just delicious i've been like i said drinking heaps of this i also got sprouting seeds and i really want to start a batch of sprouts on my kitchen counter because i love having sh fresh sprouts for i've done it a couple of times in the past but i love having fresh sprouts for you know like sandwiches or avocado toast stuff like that is just so good and such like an easy thing to do since they don't need to be in the light or anything because growing things that need light i'm like we don't have a lot of real estate for that in the house honestly like all my house plants take up all the all the space but um yeah so this week i want to get some a batch of sprouts started but yeah that was a really lovely day and then i just like chilled in the evening i think you saw me going through and tabbing uh the wishing game that book because i finished that and yeah friday and saturday were just very low-key which i love <laughs> like saturday in the evenings i mean and then sunday i just worked all day i had to film a long video that I had put off filming because I had a cough. So once my cough had like, you know, finally cleared enough to be able to film it, I just had to do it even though it was the weekend, but um, I was happy to, you know, work and get that done. So I filmed during the afternoon and then I edited the video in the evening. And then yesterday was Monday and I just, yesterday was honestly like a catch up day for me. I feel like my week is kind of weird this week, not in a bad way, just in the, I don't know. Cause I was working on Sunday. Then I kind of like took Monday off, but I was just, it wasn't really a day off like i was still working on things and like doing things around the house and stuff but i'll show you the books that i got as well as um show you the book that i'm currently reading because i did start a new book but the first book that i picked up from the bookstore is severance by ling ma i thought that they didn't have it because i didn't see it at first but then um but then i found it and i was like oh okay perfect now i can pick this up because this is actually 
the book club pick for my discord um book club for february the february pick and this is one of my favorite books from 2023 if you saw a couple of vlogs ago i talked about my top i think i did top six books from that i read in 2023 this is one of them i love this book but when i read it i just borrowed it from the library on my e-reader so i've never had the physical copy but every time i would see it in stores i'm always like oh i really need to pick that up and also my boyfriend wants to read it too so now the lighting is like pretty shite here what the heck but now um we own a copy so i'm really excited to read this again and to be able to like tab it and stuff i also have the audiobook borrowed because i thought it'd be fun to kind of listen along as well um <clears throat> since i've already read it once i have no idea what the audiobook is going to be like but yeah and it's also kind of been long enough that i don't remember like the details of this book you know so i am really excited to just crack into it again and um and just you know absorb everything that it has to offer because it is just such a phenomenal novel okay the next book is bad creep by jessica johns and this is actually a horror novel written by a canadian indigenous author and i just thought that that was so cool first of all that genre like horror thrillery stuff is very up my alley and um this apparently incorporates a lot of indigenous culture and i've heard that it's a really good book so yeah i've been eyeing it for quite a while and i also love the cover like it's like this kind of like shiny metallic-y red it is just gorgeous so i'm really excited about this one not only to support this author but just because i've heard that it's genuinely a really great horror book so i can't wait to hop into this one the next book that i got this is actually going to be the only one i was going to grab before i end before i found all of the other books that i got but i thought that this would be just a fun quick little thriller to get through and it is the housemaid secret by frida mcfadden this is the sequel to the housemaid which that's like a fun it, they're really good like fun popcorn thriller kind of books um the housemaid my experience reading it was a little bit different than other people's i think because i knew what was going on because it had been spoiled for me which is so annoying so i'm even more excited to read the sequel than i was to read the housemaid because this one hasn't been spoiled for me yet so i'm like thank god um so i i'm so excited to read this i know i'm gonna be able to read this in like a couple of days type of thing so probably after my i'm really craving a thriller i'm either gonna read first lie wins because one of y'all commented on one of my last vlogs saying that that was a really great book so i'm either gonna read that one or this one next because i'm just overdue for a thriller um so yeah i picked this up i own the first one like the physical copy too so i figured i would just grab it and this isn't very expensive or anything it honestly probably would cost like almost the same amount to get it as an ebook so and they didn't have it on libby like the library app i checked because i'm trying to get better at using the libby app again i used to be really great like i used to read so many books on there and then i don't know it kind of got inconvenient because there's often really long wait times and um books would become available when I was like in the middle of another book and you know it's kind of hard to navigate but I am trying to prioritize reading library books again just because I'm just buying so many books like I said which I need to work on I really need to work on and then completely switching gears the fourth book that I got which is the one that my mom bought me because we were looking at this and we were like oh my gosh this is amazing so this is a nonfiction. this is beginner's guide to common Vancouver Island birds by Mike Yip and look at this look at this massive book and it has all these beautiful photos of birds i and look look it's signed by him oh my gosh i could cry that's just so cute it says all the best and then he signed it oh, look at him just wait like this is just so wholesome this birder man i love that um anyways this has just tons of um she's big like she's like a large but this just is full of pictures and information on all of these different birds that we have here so i thought how cool is that and there's even you guys my favorite bird of all time <laughs> let me find it oh my gosh i could honestly die looking at the photo it's so cute oh my gosh i honestly cannot handle 
how cute they are. California quail. That's my favorite bird of all time. Sorry, the glare. It's because of this um, grow light beside me, but look at him. Are you kidding? Look at their little thingy. Oh, they're so cute. I could actually cry every time I see them. Oh my gosh, bless them. It says the California quail was introduced to the island about 150 years ago and is generally adored and welcomed by most residents. It has no apparent negative impacts on the environment or native fauna and spends most of its time quietly foraging on the ground, which makes it extremely vulnerable to predators. <laughs> I just love them like a ridiculous amount i just freaking love them this is the female i think she has like a smaller little tweedly bopper anyways that is all of the books that i got and the book that i'm currently reading is bear town i'm only <coughs> 42 pages in so i'm not very far at all and i will say it's a bit of a slow start but i'm anticipating this to pick up you know hopefully sometime soon it's not bad or anything it's just you're just like getting to know all the characters and everything which is obviously important because i think that you really start to care about these characters which makes it so emotionally impactful but this have i already told you all this i feel like i've already talked about this for some reason like it's ringing a bell like i kind of remember sitting down and saying the synopsis for this i think i did so i won't tell you again but yeah this is about like a hockey town that book anyways i suppose oh i also painted my nails y'all and i did i'll insert a little video but this is prickly pear by mooncat and the lighting is not great so you're not gonna be able to see but it's a green with like super chunky gold flecks in it and it is just so so cool i did it last night um but yeah, I guess I will leave the vlog here. I already have started filming the next weekly vlog. So I'm so proud of myself at how well I'm doing with vlogging every week. Like, what the heck? Who am I? I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Although I was thinking about how I have really been slacking on showing y'all my meals. And I've been eating some immaculate meals. So hopefully in the next vlog, I'll film some of my cooking because yeah some delicious stuff happening around here last night i made a red lentil curry and it was so freaking good so yeah i need to get groceries honestly like later today or something because i need to start my next meal prep stuff once again thank you so much to today's sponsor ritual i will have them linked down below or you can scan the qr code on screen or go to ritual.com slash cozy plant lady 20 to get 20 percent off of your first month thank you so so much for watching i really appreciate you being here on my vlog channel i hope that y'all are doing so well i can't believe we're going to february like what the heck take care and i will see y'all in the next one bye